my childhood was great. Um, it was even more greater because uh, I was an only child for a very long time. But then, well, my sister came along and I think <laughs> I lost my position. Yeah, but um, it was nice until the unfortunate happened yeah my mother died and she left me behind with my sister and my father and those times were not really nice i always wished that i had a mother you know yeah, because seeing like because the church where we went to people came in families and it was beautiful you know and I was yearning for that well so God answered my prayer yeah he gave me a mother my father married again and well it was nice again but only that this time it was also very short like shorter than I think I expected um, I'm very thankful to God for my mother. I mean, I have someone to call a mother. Even though it doesn't feel the same as your own biological mother, but I'm so grateful to her because though the training was tough, there's, there are a lot of things she taught me that are very beneficial to me right now, and I use them. And I, yeah, I live by them because they are good. So I'm grateful to God for bringing her into my life. However, it has been tough, yes. People didn't understand me and I felt like I didn't have a voice. There were so many people trying to correct me for things and issues that they didn't understand because they didn't live with us. And everybody wants to advise you when you talk. People are hearing you, but they don't really understand what you're saying. And I always had to say sorry so many times. I didn't even know <laughs> why I was saying sorry, you know, but yeah, for the sake of peace and all that. But growing up until a certain age, I felt that I, now I wanted my voice to be heard. Now I wanted people to really know me for who I am. I didn't want people to define me based on my family background or the issues and circumstances that have befallen me. I wanted people to know and experience me for who I am. And I believe that I've, I've got a lot of things inside of me that I could also offer to the world and to people around me. Yes. Well, it stayed like that for quite some time until I had the chance to travel out. And I think that was my turning point because at that time I had the opportunity to be alone to really figure out myself. I met new people and I was able to discover who I truly am. And I think from my experiences with other people, I was able to, to, to know exactly what I can be able to offer to the society and to everybody. So I think being outside, um, I was able to work on my self-confidence and, you know, my belief system for my own self. I got much more closer to God and I, I sought God and God revealed to me who I truly am. I came back to Ghana in 2012 feeling so fresh and anew and I, I knew that I was so relevant to my sister at that time because I, I could push into her some confidence and to make her also believe in herself that she too has something to offer to the world. So today, if I'm doing the Relevant Woman show, it's not because I want to just show myself to the world, but it's because I know that I have a story 
a story to tell, a story that can inspire other people who are being affected by issues and circumstances that they didn't bring to themselves, but just by virtue of the fact that they have relations with you know, people, automatically the thing affects them. And then it tends to shape their mind and they lose touch with themselves. So the Relevant Woman Talk Show is, is just to help every woman out there to know that there's something embedded inside of you that you were born with. When God was forming you, he formed you with a purpose, with a task, with an assignment that you come out here into the world and deliver. And no matter what we face, come what may, high waters or whatever, we should be able to fight, focus, and come out as what God designed us to be. This is the reason why we are doing the Relevant Woman Show. So I encourage every woman out there to rise up and stand tall. I have been able to rise up. Yes, I'm not the tallest, but I know I'm not as short as I was before. I'm taller than I was, and I'm still striving to be taller. So let us all come on board um, the Relevant Woman Talk Show. Let us give our honest comments. Let us embrace it. Let us help one another because we are here for a reason. So let's be relevant in all that we do. Thank you.